in fact, it's not only the design of projects that you should be looking at. It's a whole mechanism, it's a whole development planning mechanism that you should be looking about when you talk about communication. Because communication for development isn't one single intervention. It's a very long process. And um, it um, includes uh, m m many, many different areas and stakeholders. So, for example, think about... When, when, when the UN, for example, at country level, when the country team gets together to put together its plan, and, and especially within the United Nations Development Assistance Framework, uh, there, there is a whole situation analysis that takes place. And this situation analysis does not take place amongst two people. There's, there's, a, there's an entire team uh, that comes from a, a very wide uh, multi-sector sectoral range that gets involved in that process. And un unfortunately, um, Often th there is no sufficient uh, professional or uh, resource capacity to, to, to thread out every single need. So, so the focus is very technical and the technical recommendations will be made. And in that assessment, um, often what I find is lacking, and I am a media development uh, uh, professional, so I, I would often question, that has that assessment included um, uh, any indicators as, as that assessment used any indicators that are related to the media landscape of the country and the needs of uh, the media in that country or it could be any other type of uh, communication facility uh, are the is the structure there are the services working and and so forth and is it is that a requirement um, so in in some countries uh, the people involved in that type of process have, to, have had to be shaken up and woken up to, to realize that those components are missing from the policies that they're building, from the recommendations they're making for, uh, for, for the national plans. And they have integrated one or two indicators that, that can now uh, solidify the, the presence of uh, media. And increasingly, you know, the, the introduction of communication Community radio, for example, is seen very favorably, um, but, the, but, but the regulatory frameworks aren't always amenable, and the one way of uh, securing that, that uh, regulatory framework is by working with the national planners and by pointing out to them that um, during the planning process, they have to integrate the indicators that will allow them to make an objective assessment as to whether or not those structures are required. And often the community radios are instituted by communities themselves, um, and that link between the communities and the, and the national planners has to be made. So the, the efforts, for example, by civil society uh, can very well be ignored in national uh, policy-making processes, and perhaps there are not enough channels that, uh, that link those processes uh, to the national. But, but this is only one example. There are many, many other examples, and, and the one that I like most is the one that I gave you on, on the media.